Hi, this is Beth from Montessori Nurture. I'm back. Today is the last day of summer. Tomorrow is autumn, although it feels like summer still in here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. But it, this is the time of the year when I typically talk to the children about the seasons. Um, when they're this young, three to five years old, it's a little bit tricky. They think that if it's hot, it's summer, and if it's snowing, it's winter. And fall, maybe if they see some thing on the trees changing colors. Um, so the, the actual um, equinoxes and things, we talk about it, and they may or may not quite grasp those concepts, but it's a beginning lesson, and um, they, they really do enjoy it. Um, and you can see I have a little goat friend um, that I'm helping to take care of. So you might hear or see him throughout this video. Um, before I start, I thought I'd show you a couple of books I like. This is one by Leo Leone, and I think it's gonna show up uh, reversed for you, but it's called A Busy Year. And I love Leo Leone books, and so do the children. And it goes through um, Two Little Mice and what they do throughout the different seasons. Another one is by Robert Lewis, Rob Lewis. It's called Hello Scarecrow. Hello Mr. Scarecrow. And again, it talks about all the months of the year and um, takes place on a farm. And finally, one that's a little more tricky is um, a book by Gail Gibbons. She's great um, with nonfiction books, explaining things really well for children. And this book, again, would be for maybe a little bit of an older child, or you could talk to a younger child more about the pictures than reading all the words, because there is a lot of text in this book, but it's a lot of good information. So those are just a couple of the books that we read at school. And I thought you might also like to hear some of the songs that we sing. So this time of the year, we are singing songs about um, apples. And one of the songs that the children love and is my favorite uh, is pretty simple, but they really like it because there's a lot of body movement to it, which is always super fun when you're little. And actually for me, and I'm not little anymore. So it goes like this. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, <sniffs> they were good. I'm sorry, you can't see my whole body, so you don't see exactly how I do these things, but that's a really fun one. Um, another thing we talk about are the days of the weeks, the months of the year, and so we have these little songs, and I apologize, the day of the week song, probably not gonna sing totally in tune, but it goes, it's to the Adams Family tune, if you're old enough to remember that show. And in the Adams Family, they snap their fingers, but children who are under five typically can't snap their fingers, so sometimes I tell them to clap their hands or tap their legs when we do this. It goes like this, and I'll snap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, Tuesday and there's Wednesday, Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Children really love that one. Another one is the months of the year. And again, I usually have the children do a rhythm on their legs. Hopefully you can hear this because you can't see it. And it goes like this. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha-cha-cha. And we always just add the cha-cha-cha because it's a lot of fun. Um, one more thing that I wanted to sing to you today is our peace song. And this um, you can find on the internet, the music's out there, um, it's called Light a Candle for Peace. We just celebrated the International Day of Peace and a lot of Montessori schools will celebrate by making pinwheels for peace. Our children did that and they will celebrate as a whole school, different schools do it a different way. But I always like to teach the children this song which uses some sign language and hand motions. So again, hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I do, so I'll try and make sure it's in the video. So it goes like this. So this is our first one for a candle. Light a candle for peace. Light a candle for love. Light a candle that shines all the way around the world. Light a candle for me. Light a candle for you. That our wish for world peace 
may one day come true. Sing peace around the world. 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 Light a candle for peace. Light a candle for love. <laughs> Light a candle that shines all the way around the world. Light a candle for me. Light a candle for you. That our wish for world peace may one day come true. And I wish you a very peaceful day and a happy autumn. Hope you enjoyed my goatee friend and I thank you for joining me. Um, keep looking at my blog. I'm gonna be putting up a post about October in the classroom, and I'm doing some very special um, lessons about geography this year, so I'm hoping to share that as well. So I hope you'll see me on MontessoriNurture.com. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and if I knew how to do it, I would put the little things up here that you can click on, but I don't really know how to do that, and um, I'll probably just, you can figure that out. I trust you. Have a great day. Bye.